This is Rob Jones with California Surveying and Drafting Supply. This tutorial is about differential corrections, also known as post-processing, in Pathfinder Office. To begin post-processing, go to the Utilities menu, and then click on Differential Correction. Click the plus to add a file, which you get from your field device. You'll notice that when you add a file, it will show you the start and end time of the survey. On the second page of the wizard, be sure to select Automatic Carrier and Code Processing, which is recommended, and always start with a single base provider. On the next page, you can just leave these settings alone and click Next. On this page, you hit Select in order to choose your base. Update the list so that you have the latest stats on all the bases. Once the update is done, be sure to sort by Integrity Index. Now you'll notice that the GPS Pathfinder Office tutorial may pop up. Be sure not to select it. Get the one with the integrity index that's the highest, then click OK. Be sure you're using the reference position from the base provider, then click Next. The settings on this last page are completely up to you. It's just preference. It has no effect on the actual data itself. The wizard will tell you when the differential correction is complete and give you a nice little report of all the accuracies. Now let's say that your survey's time span was not covered completely by a single base. There is an option to add multiple base providers, but be sure you try single first. Select the multiple base providers button under the HSTAR processing options, then click next twice. Then click the select button to add a base provider group. Click new and name your group, then click OK or enter. Just like before, click the plus button to add a base. Be sure to update your list so that you have all the latest specs on each base. Once again, sort by the integrity index to be sure you choose the best bases. Then just start from the highest integrity index and work your way down. You can add as many bases as you want, but for each base it will also increase the post-processing time, so be aware of that. Also, for each base station you add, your data may be skewed slightly. This is because not all public base stations use the same reference values. That's why you always start with one base station before adding multiples. Be sure to use the reference position from base providers, then click Next. Choose whichever settings you like on this page, and then click Start to begin the post-processing. That concludes this tutorial. I'm Rob Jones with California Surveying Drafting Supply. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.